Feral Gas Friday is brought to you by Feral Gas, your hometown propane provider in Ovid and Cander, New York. Time for another Feral Gas Friday down here with Kyle Richardson. Kyle, coming off a big win last night, uh, the Pioneers starting to click. What's been the experience so far for you coming here just 20 days into the season? Uh, you know, I didn't really, wasn't really sure what to expect, but all the guys have been really cool. The coach has been really helpful. You know, a lot of people have been struggling, and I know Drummer and Burge, they've been helping everybody with pitching, hitting, everything else, all that stuff. So, really, I've really enjoyed my experience here so far. When you come in here after a long collegiate season, uh, it certainly is a little bit more freeing, less with the class work and a little bit more time to focus on baseball. How does that help you guys as far as developmentally? Oh, it's huge. Uh, school season, you're really just focused on getting practice, and when Sue's practice is done, you're just focused on schoolwork. But now, after practice is done or games, because we're playing most every day, it's really easy to just get get your body right, do go lift in the mornings. Just really, it's really more about your body, and then not having to focus on schoolwork is really help with that. Well, and having the chance to come up here to Elmira, obviously a lot of history here at Dunfield, uh, baseball since 1888, as all the commercials say. Uh, what's the experience like to play here at Dunfield versus other places you've played? Oh, it's awesome. The atmosphere is just so much better, especially us being at home at Dunfield. It's just, it's really fortunate we have all these great fans to come out and support us in each home game. You guys have been around the league a few times now, uh, making another trip to Geneva today. We've done that <laughs> uh, quite a few times already. Yeah. Uh, what's the difference between playing here at the Dunn and playing at other parks throughout even this league here? Um, playing at the Dunn really is just it's a whole other atmosphere. Like you go to Geneva or Newark, places like that, it's it just doesn't feel the same as playing at the Dunn because it's this huge grandstands. And then like you go to Geneva or Newark and it's like maybe a couple bleachers and that's it. And it's it's really just a completely different atmosphere at the Dunn. When we talk about the fans and the way that they treat the players around here, and uh, a lot of players always say it's second to none, but yeah. the other night we had our first autograph session here tonight with the Meet the Team and everything. Mm -hmm. What was that experience like, especially as a collegiate athlete, yeah. seeing the fans come out and the way they treat you guys? Yeah, that was really cool to see all the people that really are invested in us and wanted our autographs, all the little kids and adults too. They would come on the field and get our autographs. I thought that was really cool and really neat since... I mean, it's, you don't really get that in school ball, at least not where I'm from, but all these kids were uh, really excited to see us and all the parents too. Well, and i got to ask one more question before I let you get back to things here. don't want to keep you too tied up on a game day, but uh, coming here and playing for the Elmira Pioneers, obviously you guys have these decisions to make during the course of a school year. What went into your decision to come here and play for Elmira? Um, I think I, uh, one of our assistant coaches, Ross Ader, knows Coach Birch. And uh, earlier in the fall, he told me that I was coming to Elmira, and I didn't really think twice about it. I just said, all right, I'm going to Elmira. So that's where I ended up. All right, well, we hope to continue the success, carry on a winning streak, and sure. thank you so much for taking out the time. Thank you. All right, we'll be back with Feral Gas Friday next week right here on YouTube.